Doctor are wrapping up Breast Cancer Awareness Month with Dr. Tanya Martin Dunlap. She's a breast surgeon at CHI St. Vincent Breast Surgery Center. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So always good to have a reminder about the risk factors and um, what women should be looking out for with breast cancer. Um, can you talk a little bit about some factors that maybe women have in their life that are uncontrollable when it comes to breast cancer? Sure, so there are, there are a few things that can increase a woman's risk. So we know gender, women are more likely to get it. Age, the older you are, the more likely you are to get it. And then some things that you can control. So your weight, you know, weight gain after menopause can also increase your risk. And then um, race, family mm -hmm. history, and personal history. And so there are ways that we can actually calculate a specific woman's risk when she comes into clinic. We can sort of plug those things into the computer and come up with her risk over her lifetime of getting breast cancer. So family history meaning other women in your family who have had breast cancer, right? So, yeah, so other women who've had breast cancer. Whenever we think about family history, we think about mom's side and dad's side separately. So okay. a lot of women tend to overestimate their own risk because they had an aunt on one side, a grandma on the other, and they think that those sort of pile together and really they're separate and so we would consider those separately. But there are other risk factors. So people who've had particularly breast cancer under the age of 50, men who've had breast cancer in the family, any ovarian cancer in the family can also increase your risk of breast cancer. Have they figured out which side's stronger, your mom or your dad's side? There's not one that's stronger. Okay. No, they're equal. You just have to, if you have a strong family history on your dad's side, that's gonna count more than the one or two people on your mom's side. And obviously age is a factor as well. Um, you know, we do know that there are young women who can get yep. breast cancer, but it does affect women at a certain age range more, right? Exactly, so women who are postmenopausal, so after their 50s up into the mid 60s is really the bulk of where most cancers are discovered. But we are over the past decade, more and more women are being diagnosed at younger ages. And so it's not just something that, you know, older women need to think about, young women need to think about it too. Absolutely, I did a story, a 26 year old woman from Bryant who has breast cancer right now, that she's battling breast yep. cancer. So it can happen uh, at young ages Absolutely. for sure. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about things we can control because we know, you know, family history, we can't control that, but there mm -hmm. are some things we can control. What are those things? So the things that we had talked about, so weight, Gain, particularly mm -hmm. weight gain after menopause can increase your risk so just you know keep your weight at a nice average level physical activity there are a lot of studies that tell us that physical activity for a certain amount of time during the day can decrease your risk uh, moderation for alcohol one drink a day is mm -hmm. the limit for risk and then a vitamin D supplement for high-risk women can actually decrease their risk and then really when it comes time to talk about hormone replacement therapy or HRT really have a heart to heart with your doctor and decide the risk versus the benefits of that and whether or not it's right for you because it can increase your risk. And um, are there any ways to, you know, other ways to reduce your risk of breast cancer? You know, it seems like a lot of people, they do all these things and, you know, some people still end up with cancer. So it, as far as reducing the risk, there are things we can do to help find it okay. earlier, find it at a more treatable stage. And so these women who are high risk, if they come to my office, uh, we do the calculations and we mm -hmm. find that they have greater than a 20% chance over their lifetime of getting breast cancer, then that kicks them into another category. They're considered high risk and it actually forces insurance's hand to pay for things that they wouldn't normally have to pay for. So they still get their mammograms once a year, but then we add a breast MRI once a year. We do their physical exams, their breast exams twice a year and so that will help sort of, you know, they do the things that they can, the vitamin D, the exercise, but then those are the things we can do to help find it early if they are at risk. So early detection is the key. It and is. also, you know, I know it's very important to talk about women just knowing their bodies, right? And kind of, if you do notice something, not letting it go. Exactly, you know, we moved away from pushing the once a month self exams to just mm -hmm. body awareness. So as long as women know what's normal for them and then they find something that's abnormal, <laughs> take it to your doctor. Oh, all right. Very important and all good advice. Good things for everyone to remember. Thank you so much.